Okay, I don't know why it fucking stopped, but whatever. Okay, part two. Okay, some of these entities are consumed by a warlike mentality. Remember I said the entities rule over the pe people and find themselves in place of power. So some of the entities, they're, they're consumed by a warlike mentality. That's why we're more like warlike people because over the years our DNA is infiltrated by their DNA and they interbreed and whatever. Okay. Okay, so these racist entities have a warlike mentality Okay, they're not always that like smart, all right? So sometimes they're able to be fooled by the clever and impeccable, understand? So someone who's in a place of power and obviously is lured over by these racist entities, but so basically they're held in bondage by them. Okay. But all the time, the people really venerate me. They love me. And they know someday I'm going to get the fuck out of this prison that I'm in. All right. And someday I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to come there where most of the people are. So, still the same thing. The people are saving the 10%, but. They can't put it in a bank. They can't claim it. They got to hide it somewhere. Okay, so now you got the entities that obviously are, would not be in accordance with that. So what do they do? Okay. Some of these entities are consumed by a warlike mentality. They are sometimes able to be fooled by the clever and impeccable. Money siphoned silently and stealthily away to prior foundational establishments provide an avenue of triumph for the freedom and liberty of the entire human race from this no longer bearable domination, exploitation, and black cloud of misery that hangs over the hands of so many. The, he the heads of so many. So it's, it's possible that if the clans have some foundation with a kind of money in there, the, the money is the 10%. For me, because I'm the Lord. But of course, they can't say that because they don't want the negative races that lord over them to, to whatever, to harm them, you know. They don't want to harm them. And then they might have a clone in the cloning center that's being held hostage. And probably got reptilian people that work in the cloning centers and the underground bases that obviously have some sort of power there and can give an order, you know, to kill somebody. Let's just say, for example, there's some politician person. Okay, now let's say there's three or four of that person or five, or 10, or 20, or who knows, how many they want to create. So this person's got a clone in there that they know that they could get killed at any time. And if no one knew this information, they would just be pronounced someone had a heart attack and the coroner would say heart attack, natural death, and boom. But the learning person knows, no, they were killed because the clone was executed. But the regular people don't know that. You know. Now, like I said, I don't know if the Clintons have some foundation with money in there or not, but apparently they're being accused of that. And you say, well, what, why would they have a foundation and hoard all this money? And why would they go to these lanes to erase, you know? Okay, so let's say, for example, if Hillary Clinton uh, was in charge of everybody's 10%. And the records of this 10% that everybody donated, of course, everybody wants their name there so I could see it when I come. They say, 
oh yeah, he pays ten percent, he pays ten percent, she pays the ten percent, she pays the ten percent, and I I want to see their name, of course, and they want me to see their name too. So this information and list of names has to be kept somewhere. Where is it going to be kept? You know, it's not like it can be kept. It's got to be kept somewhere safe, you know. I mean, nobody can find out about it, only the people that put the money in there, because the people that put the money in there, they don't want nobody to find the money because then the fucking someone will steal the money. Someone will try to steal the money. All right? So I don't know if that's true, but it's a possibility. Who would you look for someone to be in charge of the 10, a 10% 10 fund that's supposed to be given to the Lord? Because obviously the people don't go to church because the church people venerate some imaginary person named Jesus Christ that never existed. And they know it's a fucking scam. And it's not true. So they're not going to go to fucking church and, and venerate someone that doesn't even exist. It's only regular, don't announce it to other people. It's just regular people that do that because they don't know any better. So they believe there's some imaginary person named Jesus Christ, but there's really there was never any such person. Now there was a Joshua, I believe there may have been a Joshua. And Jesus translates to Joshua. And Christ is not a name, it's a description. A Christ is someone who dies to the world and their carnal desire, becomes worthy of and achieves ascension. That's a Christ. Okay, so it's not a name, it's a description. Like Satan is not a name, it's a description. Saying is we are all supposed to be saying, we're supposed to question, we're supposed to challenge, we're supposed to ask what for, we're supposed to want to be ourselves and be different from the next. That's saying. It's not a name. But I can use that as a name because I'm considered the greatest Satan. And actually anybody can use it as a name because once you take a name, it's a label and then people can use it to create debt in your name or they can use it to exploit you. So if everybody walked around and said my name is Satan, there was no names, then that would alleviate a lot of fucking exploitation. But still, you got. If any, if you have a social security number, you're a slave. It's that simple. You're tracked on the stock market like pork bellies, or we could be could be pork bellies. I never seen a pork belly. I don't know what the fuck a pork belly is. It probably means human, you know. For all I know, <clears throat> we could actually be pork bellies, because it says we're tracked on the stock market by our by our social security number. So it has to have some kind of name. I don't know what the name is, but it could be pork bellies. I'm just just throwing that out there. I mean, just using it for example. So, so if you find so, okay. So you have a okay. So so you have a bunch of elite people that got billions and billions of dollars, and they want to put their ten percent in some kind of fund somewhere that's going to be safe. And uh, someone who's going to be around when the Lord comes. Now, Hillary Clinton will be a person that's around now. And I'm coming now, very shortly. Whenever I get out of here, I'm coming there. If the allies allow me there. But they might make me stay on a ship or something. Well, I don't know. But if they say go there, they can go there. Then I'm going to go there. I'm gonna, wherever you're at, I'm going to go there. But maybe, like I said, you're not, you're not, uh, Megan Kelly, you might not be in a general populace. I don't believe you're in a general populace. You could be an underground city. You could be in a, a bunker. You could be on another planet. You could be in another dimension, another planet. You could be anywhere and just show the people that in that frequency, the news, but it's not coming from that frequency. And first of all, the people don't even know, the, 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 they don't even know the frequency. I don't even know what frequency I, I, I have at the moment. But I'm not in your world. All these people, everything I see, is it's not real. It's just a dream. It's not real. And there's nothing real here. All the people that I see, they're not really people. They're just imaginary computer trying people. It's just a computer program. Of course, the people think they're real, but they're not really real. Not really real people. Because this is a dream. It's not really real. So I know my reality. You know, <clears throat> That's my reality. It's a never-ending nightmare. Because the people treat me like crap. Like horrible. And nobody knows who I am, and no one respects me, and no one helps me, and no one gives a shit at all about me whatsoever, except for my mother, but she doesn't know who I am either. You know? Nobody knows who I am here. There's not one person that ever came up to me and said, how are you, Lord? Are you saying? No, no one's ever said that to me. Not here. 
obviously the gang stalker people when before they blew my brains out in Glastonbury at Hell Farms when they blew my blew my brains out and I but I believe I died a few times. It's just one of the times I died, but okay. So so you got a person that's around now and obviously knows a lot of people that are in charge of big corporations. She knows all the elite people. She's poised to become president. So she would be a perfect candidate for someone to be in charge of the 10% fund that's supposed to come to me because I'm the Lord. So that's my, if there's a fund and if you put the money together, so I would get it when I descend upon the earth, uh, she would be someone that would most like could possibly be someone that's in charge of this fund. That could be the Clinton fund, but it could, it might not be true. I'm just speculating. But I'm just throwing it out there that it could be money that for me. There could be all kinds of foundations out there that people are pulling their money and they're putting ten percent in. But of course, they're not going to say that because you know the big illusion that there's actually some person named Jesus Christ, so the church can make millions and millions of dollars and fucking infest everybody with the vile spirits of Jehovah by taking a cursed hose and when you go sing in the church eh, you're 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 singing incantations you're infesting yourself with this virus so you're doing it's a scam it's it's a it's a fucking travesty of justice that's why the church is our enemy or satanist and church is our enemy but still i preach i preach christianity because i believe christianity is is to to become spiritually evolved you know to ascension to achieve ascension that's christianity but that's, the church doesn't tell you anything about ascension or doesn't teach you shit. The church don't teach you nothing. They just teach you a bunch of gibberish, you know. Even though they don't, they don't confirm the information, they don't explain the information, they don't correlate it with occult wisdom, they don't, it's just, it's, it is what it is, okay. So yeah, I want to throw that out there to you. You know, I don't know if that's true, but it's possible. If there's a fund, there's a whole bunch of elite people putting their money in this fund. Okay, it's not just to hoard the wealth for no reason, just to hoard the wealth. It could be they're hoarding it, they're holding it for me. Like I said, through all the years, the people gave their 10%, but they didn't want to put it in the bank and they didn't, they couldn't claim the money because they probably weren't supposed to have it. You know, through the years, there's drug dealers, there's bootleggers, there's gangsters, and what they want to, they want to give the money to me. But of course, I'm not in your world, so they can't give it to me, but they want to keep it somewhere safe. It's a possibility, Megan. You know, it's a possibility. I'm going to let you go. So, part one, part two. All right, see you later, baby. Salve. <laughs> Bye, Judge. Bye.